Hey guys, welcome back to the Spiritual Queen Tarot channel. I'm your girl Chanel Black. Today we're going to do a reading on um, Miss Anne Hatch and Thomas James relationship. Okay, we're going to do energy reading on some past energy. Okay, not really on current energy because as we know, Miss Anne Hatch is no longer with us um, as of today. She has passed, uh, um, passed on. Okay. Her spirit may be still here with us, but, you know, she had passed on um, after a fatal car accident that she um, experienced. I think it was last week. Um, but we have Thomas James here uh, with her today because he released a statement um, after her crash. And it just you know, it was just in, in my heart and in my intuition. I don't know what it is. Because I did a reading on Anne, you know, while she was in the hospital. And there was a lot of energy of male energy, masculine energy that was there that kind of took, you know, kind of led the reading. So that kind of made me want to look into her exes. Okay, so I got on the Google Street sign. I got the clicking and tapping and scrolling, honey. And I just went through her history. And I just let my intuition lead me into who I'm actually looking for. Because I don't know who her ex was. I know her only ex was Ellen. And Ellen don't have a one. She may strap one on every once in a while, but she ain't got a one. So I'm looking for somebody with a one that I think that, you know, could have, you know, impacted Anne's life to a point that, you know, kind of, not to say that this person is to blame for her car accident, but, you know, this person came to her life and made, things kind of swift to the left okay kind of do a swerve to the left and we all women we know men who come in our life who have caused our life to swerve to the left okay and i just feel like when i started to scroll and look i came across mr thomas james and he just gave me that swerve energy so um and here we are now, I know, the thing about when I look at pictures of Ann Hex, and let's just remember, Ann Hex gave us a lot of um, good moves. I remember a couple of moves with Ann, and she used to wear this spiky look, a short haircut that I thought was always so cute. Her hair was, to me, Ann Hex is what I remember about Ann. Her hair was always on point. Her hair was always so cute. Her little short pixie hairstyles were so adorable. I mean, I'd never seen nobody with short haircut that, especially a Caucasian woman, let's just keep it real, who just has so much fun with her hair. Her hair deserves an Oscar, period. Okay, so Anne just gave us fun hair. And so, but I noticed that when she got with old, old Thomas Jane, and hair started to give us something else. And because I read people's hair. I could, your hair can tell me a lot about you. And Anne always gave me sophisticated, fun, spunky hair at first. And when she got with Mr. Thomas James, her hair started giving me wild, wacky, crazy. Okay. So, we're going to look into the energy of Mr. Thomas James. Now, we ain't blaming Thomas James for nothing. But he did release a statement. And I want to read this statement. Okay. Because for somebody who come into your life and give you a swerve, his statement gave me swerve energy. So, let me read it. It says, following the horrific car crash, Hex, ex-boyfriend actor Thomas James said, She's expected to pull through. Okay. So he was the first person that said she was expected to pull through. Now, I don't know if he was just sitting there just giving out information and he hadn't even been to the hospital. Or had he been to the hospital and he saw that she was in a condition that, you know, she, she looked fine. She expected to pull through. That's what he gave following her car accident. He released a statement to the Daily Mail and provided an update on her condition amidst her um, hospitalization while Ann and I are no longer an item now Thomas why did you feel the need to say that first okay we're here for other reasons okay it's something real going on here okay the person that you love or once love or once liked or once used your magic wand on at least okay is in was in critical conditions when, when I read she was in critical condition but he said she was expected to pull through which it's okay to give hope. I mean, you just want to hope for the best for her. So we're not beating him up for that statement. But why did he have to say, while well, Ann and I are no longer an item? Okay, if you're no longer an item, you no longer have anything to do with each other. Why are you the first one to give a statement? Why are you the first one front and center? Okay, 
But okay, but you here. You could be a good friend. But you didn't have to say that. But you did. So it seemed like you said it to pretty much tell us. This is what I heard when he said it. Allegedly. He says, while Anna and I are no longer together. <laughs> Whatever's in her system. I didn't put it down. Whatever she did. I, I ain't had no responsibility. I didn't do it. That's what I heard. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Okay. Okay. I hear you, Thomas. It wasn't you. Okay. It said, today's tragic news was devastating to me and to all who love her. Okay. Okay. I'll accept it. It says, um, he said, he said, my heart goes out to Anne and her two sons. Okay. As, as of right now, Anne is stable and expected to pull through. I mean, that's a, a strong statement. So that means he done been to the hospital. He done talked to doctors. So this sounds like somebody that's still together with somebody. But I don't know. I mean, and, and if, if you didn't talk to doctors, why are you saying stuff like that? But again, he probably just giving hope. You know, he's just giving hope to the situation. Um, she says, Anne is stable and expected to pull through. My thoughts and prayers are with Anne. Okay. That's a typical thing to say. One of the true talents of her generation okay yeah she was talented and maybe she was one of her generations but is that important to say right now are you her publicist okay you her spokesperson thank god no one else was hurt he fought, he ended the statement no thank god no one else is hurt which is good okay because we don't want nobody else to be hurt um but it's like he just setting up some type of publicist statement but, you know, like I said, look at the pictures, okay? This is when Anne first got, when he, I mean, either she first met him or they first went on their first date. He looked at healthy. He looked at, you know, well, organized. At that time, if he had any addiction, he was he was maintaining. He was able to maintain, you know, because he was getting a little scruffy. But, yeah, you know, that's kind of that's kind of sexy a little bit and still well put together. Then over here is at later times, once they was heavy in their relationship, he definitely giving out addiction, heavy addiction around the face, allegedly. That's just my opinion on what I see, my percep perception, okay? Because the sunken in face, always giving in some type of addiction, is giving in some type of illness, some type of sickness, okay? Some type of, you putting something in your body that you should not, okay? And then she, her body shape is giving me, you know, that she's joining in on the festivities. Whatever he's doing, she's joining in. Okay, she's joining in either to fit in or to get along. One of the two. Because her hair at this point is not as elegant as, as, as it should be. You know, she's trying. But it's not as elegant as it normally is. Okay. And then the way he's holding her is definitely a lot of chemistry and passion. It's a lot of, we're going we gonna to get it in. Uh, that one energy. So it's definitely passion there. He's holding her a different type of way. Um, he probably touches her in a way that nobody ever touches her before. He, they played in a movie called Hung. Hung. If that ain't telling you something, what it is. Okay. So he definitely somebody that impacted her life. You can definitely tell. So let's kind of get into the energy of them. Okay. Because uh, I, I went too, too long with my rant. Okay. So I'm just trying to give them a little details. So first I want to kind of pull from these cards. What's the energy behind Anne Hesh and Thomas James. Okay. Not the first card coming out. I don't know if I'm going to take it or not, but. Okay, the card that came out here is Ancestor. Ancestors. Okay. Ancestors. Generations. So, I don't know what they experienced in, in their relationship was passed down from generations and generations, honey. I'll be surprised if Anne mom didn't have, you know, they didn't probably fall in love with a man that was a bad boy. You know, just allegedly, I'm just saying. It could be mom, grandma, it could be anybody. And he probably had a father that's just like him. Papa was a rolling stone, honey. Let's see, what else? What's the, can you give me more energy about Anne Hatch and Thomas Jane energy around the time of the accident? Let's just see what was the energy around the time of the accident. Okay. We got the well card. It, it speaks of a breach. Okay. I don't know if there was a breach of trust. A breach to the point that they there was a breach where they was out of reach of each other. Or what. But that's kind of what I'm picking. Let's see if anything else want to come out. 
to describe the relationship. We got the river. It was always moving. Okay. So he giving me roll stone type of energy. Like you can't keep up with him if he wanted to. You can join in on the party, you know, and you can kind of hang that night. But girl, you can't keep up with him. Okay. He he got a high tolerance for whatever he he's going on. So it's always a river, a movement, a movement breach. So it's giving me emotion, especially with the breach of the whale jumping out of the water. And the river, a lot of emotions here, a lot of emotions, but it's not giving me that, mm, baby, come give me a hug and a kiss. It's like, like a well out of water. You know, it's a beautiful sight. He jumping out, but he took a lot of energy to jump out. And if he land on somebody, it's going to hurt. Okay. If he land on somebody's ship or boat, it's going to hurt. And then we got this river, like the river is beautiful too. But then it's always moving. It's always changing. Um, it's always cleansing. It's always on the go. Let's say, okay, and this is generations. So, generations of this being passed down. So, let's count this full terror on their relationship. Divine Angels, can you give me the best cards from this deck to describe the current en the energy behind Anne Hatch and Thomas James relationship? Because I saw some videos with Thomas and her together, and it's always seemed like they on the open road. They always out on some type of adventure, some type of you know, I don't know. It seemed like they have a good time, but then. She'll put the camera on him and then he'll say something that's dark. And she'll look like, oh my God, what made you say that? You know. But then she'll move on and try to be light again. But he'll say something dark. But clearly she thought it was sexy because she stayed with him. So we got justice card here. Now why is the justice card out? That's a legal situation or, or documents. Police finding out the truth in the matter affecting the balance. So it's already giving me toxic. It's always giving me, because you notice that the police have to come in justice. And you know, it's giving me that toxic relationship where the police is called because you're arguing. And then only because the neighbor called, the neighbor called because you're arguing, but you you get mad at the neighbors like, we wasn't arguing, we were just having a discussion. That's their way of being passionate, okay? That's their way of being showing passion for the, each other. But then we got the justice, like I said, we can't ignore the fact that this is a legal card as well speaks of some type of legal situation, finding the, um, trying to find a balance in a situation. Now, as long as this situation is of integrity, there's there will be justice. But if there's no integrity, then it wouldn't be any justice in this matter. But it says that there is some type of legal situation or some type of legal documents. Why would that come out with their energy? Now, I want to get the, the energy of their relationship just their relationship and up to the accident okay up to the accident i just want to see what's the energy so that's what i'm pulling from we got the page of pentacles which speaks of a young woman to 25 years old a student mm -hmm. somebody young trying to learn coming in okay maybe some offers were made to a young person okay male or female Okay, somebody can't look coming in as a student, but it's a legal situation. What else? Give me more about their uh, relationship, Anne and Thomas. The energy around the car accident. Is, is there any energy around them when it comes to a car accident? Again, the Ace of Swords. Frustrated, double edged sword, hollow victory. It's like. They probably was truthful and honest with each other, but it never was a truth that always brought them together in a loving way. It was always a double-edged sword. It's like, it's like he's the type of man that'll say, you know what it is, you know what kind of man I am, and you know, you knew when you got with me. And she's like, oh my God, I know she, because you do know. You know what you get into. But it's a double-edged sword here. Okay, a lot of sword energy here with them. Truth hurts, okay, pain because the sword is painful. Now you can learn, unless you're the one that's well in the sword, and then you, you're the one doing the hurting. And then your partner is the one catching the, the lashes, the slashes, and so that's painful. 
whether it's the truth or not, whether it's like, you knew I had a sword, you knew I like to sling it. Okay. But she accepted the truth. She accepted this. Okay. And it was, it's giving me toxic. Okay. Give me, give me more. Just anything else we can find out about this reading. I mean, about this relationship that we need to know that could possibly be connected to the accident or could have caused the accident. I mean, not caused the accident, but could have led her to being irrational. But just like with this, um, with this Knight of Swords. Okay, speaks of a young man to 25 years old, speedy situation or a finish. Somebody coming into a situation very speedy, very fast, willing that sword, don't care who gets hurt, coming in, um, not thinking really, coming in only dealing with their truths, their feelings, their issues, not really thinking about whoever's in front of that sword. It's all about them. Okay, causing chaos really because I gotta call the police because you're constantly swinging that sword okay so let's let's look let's look let's look give me more okay because why is this justice card here so it's like this relationship was always a well out of water okay it you know a well out of water like I say it's an amazing thing to see if you're lucky to see it but then you lucky to see it if you're far away if you're sitting on your balcony on your resort and you see that happen that's beautiful but if you sitting there and you in a boat or a ship and you right next to that well it's a different type of experience if 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 you survive it then it's beautiful and exhilarating and you and it's a mo best moment of your life uh but that's if you survive it and it's almost like a once and so it's like that's how that relationship was like it was so exciting if you survived it, if you survived it, it was exciting, it was fun, it was good. But it was a breach. It was it was something different. It was a well out of water. It was something that you don't often see, you don't often feel. May not want to always, you don't want to often feel that and see that. It's kind of scary. Okay? But always on the move. You can't keep up with that river. Because the river is constantly moving. Okay, so we got this justice card here. Lots of justice card here for and hash and Thomas relationship energy. Lots of justice card here for Thomas. Okay. Oh, and they must have a volatile breakup because we got the X card here. It speaks of a breakup, a separation. Stop the patterns. Silent treatment. Abandonment. It falls upon the ancestors, generations. Generation of him doing it. Probably his family. Males in his family doing what he do. Male, females in her family accepting what she accepting. And going through what she going through. It says it's time to stop the patterns. Okay. But this breakup with them caused a big legal is issue it caused justice to be unbalanced okay and it says stop the pattern that are happening here um when it comes to this breakup of se separation because Anne went on to date someone else that was a mogul over skincare and that man did not get the Anne Hesh that was here she got this and he got this Anne Hesh that was a different type okay she was wild at that point, her hair was officially wild when she got with that skincare mogul. I don't think her hair been back the same since since old Thomas James. Okay, I haven't been saying, and your hair is on point, sis. It has not been on point since she's been with old tre old Thomas James, old TJ. I'm just gonna keep it real. Now, why is this page of Pentacles here, and Anne Tash and Thomas reading? Thomas probably had a thing for young women. Yeah, he was always chasing the chaser. He was always chasing young women. Probably giving young women money. Okay? Because it says a chaser in a codependent relationship. A fear of abandonment issues. So, I'm seeing that Anne probably held on and chased this relationship. While he chasing younger women, she was chasing him. Because she didn't want to be abandoned. Remember, again, ancestor, this is stuff that was passed down to her. It says ancestor generations. This is generations of this. I bet if we do research, 
and find out the truth because we probably want it because if Anne's fam family is not famous, you know, we're not going to see about her Auntie Susan and her drama or her Auntie Pearl and her drama. We're not going to see that. But if Anne was here to speak on it, I wonder what she say that she came from family who did that, who have a long line of some type of pattern that she feel like she fell into, whether it's a pattern of addiction, a pattern of addiction to men, a, a pattern of addiction when it comes to abandonment issues, okay, doing whatever it is to have this person stay in your life, okay, because you're chasing this person, um, and this is something, again, this is a young woman, an immature energy, okay, I'm picking up, tr uh, Jane, TJ was chasing the young women, and was chasing him. And this is just generation of this. Always a breach in this relationship with this whale card. So let's find out more about this Ace of Swords here. Why is this Ace of Swords here? But Anne Hesh and TJ. Thomas. Jane. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, a karmic relationship. Which means a toxic, unhealthy relationship that you're supposed to be breaking the patterns from. You're supposed to be breaking the generational curses, this family curses here. And it says feeling triggered. This person, these, this relationship triggered both of them. It was a trigger for both of them. Uh, and it was term, term wars. It was, it was fill a bunch of obstacles, a, a war upon war. And they called it chemistry. Okay. And it says, and it led to resentment. And lessons that they should have been learning, letting go and loving you. Letting go and loving you, baby. Generations. The breaches. Generations of breaches. Generations of chasing. Relationship constantly on the move, constantly chasing the waterfalls, constantly chasing the river. Movements. Why is the Knight of Swords here? This Knight of Swords is always on the go with his sword. Okay. All you guys are memory of him. He's a distant memory. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories, okay? Give me more about this Knight of Swords energy and the river and the movement. Dating. Always dating. Always on the date. Meeting someone new constantly. Dating, getting back out there, playing, set a date, okay? Yeah, he show up at somebody that's dating. And if you go back to her reading, either she was going on a date or she saw where the person I'm assuming with old Thomas allegedly constantly dating, constantly doing something. You know she know where he at. She know she know where he hang out at. She know what he up to. Okay, constantly on the move, constantly chasing him. Okay, let's see. Let's pull a little more energy on these two. Okay, we got. Okay, give me the overall energy. Okay, you know what? I want to ask this. Okay, because we got, we kind of got the picture. This is a karmic relationship. It's a toxic relationship with, where they chased each other. He chased the high. She chased, she chased the high of being with him because there was fear of abandonment. Probably for both. I'm going to say for both of them. Okay, this is generations of this. Okay. He chasing younger women. He chasing maybe addiction and chasing him trying to keep up. Okay, but they supposed to use this relationship to break the chains, um, but you know, it is what it is. So, what does Thomas Jane, does Thomas James have anything to do with the car accident, okay? What is his energy behind the car accident of Anne Pitch? What is the energy of Thomas and Anne's car accident? Okay, what's the energy behind him and his car accident? Anne's car accident. What is the energy behind Thomas? Let me put these other two cards behind because they popped out too. What is the energy behind Thomas and Anne's? Of Tom, with you know, what's the energy behind Thomas and Anne's car accident? We got the devil card here, which speaks of jealousy or trouble. Able to break the chains that are binding you or holding you back. So there was some chain. He does have some type of connection. 
Now, what type of connection? He could have had an emotionally connect, emotional connection to her. And her emotions are still wrapped up in him because it's a karmic relationship. Okay? And because she bound to him and bound to him in probably in an obsession type of way, addictive type of way. He could also be the one that introduced um, drugs into her life, allegedly. Okay? He could have been the one. He because she definitely he didn't even look like he was bad off here brother's bad off there okay so the energy behind him and whatever it has to do with her car accident is it's not a good energy okay whether he has something to do with it physically or something emotionally or something it he's definitely up in there and not in a good way low vibrational energy it could be him just introducing her to the chemicals that was found in her body the drugs that were found in her body Next, because we got the arrows of love, communication, speedy, news or situation coming in, arrows of love. So it's like because she was bound to him, she found it looks like she found out some information of love that, that, that affected her, that affected her heart. She found out something came in, either he was communicating with her or something was communicated to her. Okay. Okay. Again, here go this queen of swords energy that pissed her off. It was some truth that came in that pissed her off, that probably hurt her, that made her pull out her sword. This is the first time she pulled, you know, well, the sword is pulled out here too. And okay, it's a justice card. Legal situation. Um, but now, it's like, and I picked up the sword. Okay, because it says a woman over 25 years old, brown eyes to brown hair. Um, it speaks of cold, hard, demanding authority. She became that bitch. Okay. She became the one that was well in that sword. She became somebody that became heartless and cold. Demanding something. And so, wow, okay. So, let's get a little bit more energy behind this devil card. Give me more about this devil card. For Thomas. Not enough. So, it says frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fears, ego, jealousy issues. Second time issue, jealous issue came up here. Again, if your uh, boyfriend is chasing younger women, that's going to create some um, jealousy issues. She want to keep up with them. It, it's creating some type of, she's not feeling like she's enough. She's feeling, it's maybe, maybe bringing up some abandonment issues. Okay, because of the breach that's in this relationship. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Thomas? Okay, Thomas created frustrations in his in relationships. Okay, he may have been cre creating her, you know, um, because of what his actions are doing. His actions of love, his arrows that he's shooting out to everybody. Left her frustrated, okay? Lack of confidence with some fears and some ego issues. Okay. Could be his ego. His ego is that he's spreading his ego love out there. Okay. We got the eight of ones. Give me more about the eight of ones for Thomas. And what he has to do with this card to then how, how he's involved. Okay. Seduction, of course. That's all he know how to do. Okay. We got the seduction card with the eight of ones, which speaks of, you know, some errors of love coming in. She found out about that. He probably was after seducing the situation. Again, go back to that reading because it seems like she was trying, either she was going to be mean up with him and or mean up with somebody and things went to the left and she couldn't take it no more. She pulled out that sword and she became that queen of swords. Okay, we got attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Again, yeah, him out there doing what he doing. Why is this Queen of Swords here? But but Thomas and his involvement in this car accident, the car that hit the floor, that hit not only hit the floor but ran down my leg, honey. Is the Phoenix, honey. So we got the new phase, rekindle, renewal, transformation, growth, a changed mind. She tried, okay, I guess she tried to fly above the situation. She thought that they were supposed to be rekindling their relationship, probably. And she saw that he was over there still seducing, still doing what he do. Still breaching her trust, still breaching the contract, still breaching a well out of the water, okay? 
and she she got sick of it okay and she changed her mind and things happened now what's the energy behind this queen of swords why is this queen of swords here what's the energy behind this queen of swords we got the desert okay things got dry her vision got clear or maybe even foggy, honey. Uh, she saw mirage. She was she was not seeing clearly. She was not seeing clearly. She had had enough. Things had dried up. She Her feelings had dried up. She had no more else to give. And she was at the end of that rope. Okay. Now... Let's, I'm going to pull some tarot on the desert. Why the desert here? For the Queen of Swords. Yeah. It came up to the Two of Cups. Peace of mind. Okay. Joining the two people with the Ace of Wands. She realized things had dried up. Okay. She saw what she saw. She saw the seduction was going on. He's still shooting out his arrows of love. Okay. Addiction. She addicted about and bound to this man. Addicted to this man. He keep on striking up emotions in her that she feeling like she's not enough. Okay. Even the red wig wasn't enough. Okay. She gonna pick up the red wig. Before she even get to put the wig on, she already see that he acting out and doing something he's not supposed to be doing, shooting these arrows of love. Okay, he don't give me the type of man that's logged into the internet somewhere. So I wonder if she see him out somewhere or see him somewhere. Did they catch him out somewhere? Okay, but he was out there seducing, doing what he do with younger women. Okay, she saw it. She got cold. She got upset. Okay, she wasn't seeing straight. Like when you're in the desert and you ain't got water and you look far off, you see that water there and you run so far to get there just to see it's, it's nothing there. You know, waste the little energy you got to run to a mirage. And it was all a mirage when it came to this Two of Cups energy and this Ace of Wands, new beginnings. She thought it was going to be a new beginning and it gave her peace of mind, but it didn't. Okay. And it was at the end of her, it was, it was just the end. It was just done. And then I think she was on something. Okay. She was high off something, frustrated, and it caused things to go to the left, period. Now, he may say he wasn't driving the car. He may say he, we not together. Yes, yes, that's what you're saying now. But is that what Anne thought? Is that what you was telling her? Okay, let me see your, let me see your text messages to her. Let me see your emails to her. Okay, how, how were you responding to her? Because she thought something different until she saw what you do, what you do best, breaching the contract, breaching, always on the move, always with this sore energy going in, hurting her. She chasing you. She was tired. Okay, she was at the end of her rope. Okay, her peace of mind was no longer. Okay, she was seeing delusions. Okay, and things were dry. So that's going to be the reading for Anne and Thomas. I hope you guys got some type of insight from this from this reading. Um, Thomas, Thomas, leave women alone. Definitely leave young women alone. Because if you out here doing this to this older, mature woman, I can just imagine how you driving these young women crazy. But that's the reading. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.